Welcome to another edition of Yo On The Go. Today we'll be talking about how to excel and be exceptional in a mediocre world or environment. And I've got to caveat this in this way. The world has been designed with a model. That model is an imperfect model. And because that model is imperfect, we have a lot of discontinuities that don't seem to make any sense. For one, there's one thing that in a corporate environment, everybody asks, how come we have so many senior management? How come we have so many of these people uh, being leaders when in fact the, the ratios don't seem to make sense? There's actually, uh, in addition to that, is that with each of those leaders, you actually have a large amount of board members that also control and lead that organization. So it's actually roughly double to treble the amount of people who are leading at the top than should be statistically generated from, let's say, a typical pyramid structure. The interesting part is, is that that actually is the norm because that's the way things work in life in that the tails on the end of a distribution tend to be very fat. Uh, and that's because of the exceptionalism, the halo effect where um, good people do good, good things and then better things come to them because they've had that track history. Because time uh, and honestly luck and opportunity come at different times. It's much better for you to have an opportunity and be lucky early in your life than it is to be at the end of your life because of that compounding of benefit. And so by doing so, you can start to see that you're going to have a set number of people who've achieved and received, I mean, all given things being equal, uh, a nominal amount of, um, of capability. Those people will then continue to progress and continue to grow where others start lagging behind because of where the opportunity starts or stops. Now, this is, uh, this is very, very, um, uh, a normal phenomenon. You see this in all different things of this long tail. So we shouldn't be surprised to see so many leaders or so many um, um, senior management leading an organization because that's actually uh, a relatively um, um, normal thing. What is not normal is the normal curve. So the concept of a Gaussian curve only really occurs in certain circumstances. Typically, the easiest one is when you're shooting a target from a distance, let's say a, a, a shooting an arrow, and you're hitting your bullseye. The, the separation from that bullseye from, uh, from your target can go plus or minus X amount and plus or minus Y amount. And that, if you do hundreds of thousands of shots, you're going to get a Gaussian distribution based off of uh, the distribution. But that's really the only thing that has a normal curve. And yet, we spend a lot of time in our lives grading on the curve. There are different ways to get around that. And this is one concept I want to share. It's living off the curve. Or uh, really saying, no, the curve itself is an abstraction. The curve itself is not real. It is an artifact of our engineered structure of society. There's an underlying biology that's based off of a log normal distribution with long tails. So let's live knowing that there are long tails. And how do I get to be a long tail? I said uh, before that opportunity, and that's really mixed in with luck. If your opportunity comes in early in your career, then you have much higher chances of propelling into that. Uh, but what if you're part of the so-called um, uh, you know, mean where there's, uh, or median, where mo majority of the people lie. They lie not in the middle, which is what a Gaussian distribution is, but actually they lie south of middle or left of middle which means on average, most of the people lie less than, um, less than the nominal average of a Gaussian distribution. And this, again, is perfectly normal, so to speak, because of the way our real distributions is. And that actually kind of explains why more people are dissatisfied 
uh, because they're looking at their state comparing it to a Gaussian distribution wherein in, in fact they should be looking at it at uh, in a log normal distribution or some other long tail distribution. All I'm really saying uh, is that it's okay to be less than average because that is actually the average, the true average. But how do you get around that? How do you get outside of that? Uh, and that's where you want to go into different modalities. Uh, the world is a multi-dimensional world. You are a multi-dimensional person. You have so many different aspects of you, uh, both in, um, engineer, let's say, in your career, in your personal life, in your thoughts, your emotions. We are multifaceted, multidimensional. And so how do you become unique in that is you want to excel in a stack of different concepts or different skills. And you don't have to fully excel. You don't have to go into the tail distributions in order to excel. You can just, just do a little better than average on all of these different things. Or you could be even average. But by combining multiple skill sets in which all of these things are slightly better you will find that these things start to compound. It's really that law of um, business where if you take a, a, a certain process and you improve each of those processes by 1%, the net gain benefit across that because of the compounding effect gives you much higher efficiencies in the future. So if we can tweak and optimize each of these by just a little, you then get a compounding effect. These are, of course require certain skill sets that are chained on top of each other. So a typical chaining would be, I am a very good technical person and I provide solid data. That's one set. The next set is, not only do I do very well in developing the data sets, but I'm also pretty good at displaying the data sets, visualizing that, putting in a format that people understand. I don't have to be the best, but I'm pretty good at it. And then the last one is, I'm also pretty good at presenting that concept to someone else. Now, that stack of influence gives you the opportunity to then make a very convincing argument of which somebody else who has, um, let's say, um, very, very good um, presentation skills, but not so good um, analytical skills and not so good uh, visualization skills would do poorly. So it's in, in that increase in stacking these things together is what gives you that capability. So that's something else to think about in terms of if you are part of the median of the curve, look to other dimensions in which you can not do exceptional, but just do a little better. And that combination of all of these that stack and are, have to be dependent on each other or interdependent on each other, that will give you that edge. Now, because of that, you also have the, the issue of finding a fit because those skills may be so disparate that there's a very, very specific job or opportunity or position that will fit you the best. Now the challenge is searching for that best fit, not searching for being the best in any given thing. So I hope this was helpful for you. Until next time, bye.